Regression Analysis 5 – Generating Regression Estimates So we're going to do it using the Data Analysis option in Excel. So you go to your Data tab and then you have your Data Analysis option. Um, in the Tools you choose Regression and click OK. And then if you click on um, the Input range you have to highlight your Y variables and then the uh, input the X range, you start out just by doing X1 and then um, you're going to do it twice. The next time you do it, you can do X1 and X2. So they have to be next to each other, your X variables, so that you can highlight them all at once, um, but you can do that. If you click Labels, you'll actually get the first row labels will appear in the analysis. And then you can tell it where you'd like to see it. Okay, and this is what you get. This is what I got with just my X1 variable. So the first part here gives you some regression statistics. You get the number of observations and you get the R-squared and adjusted R-squared. So what you have to pull out of this is the adjusted R-squared. Hopefully you already know how many observations you have. Then you can skip this part of the table and uh, we go right to the coefficients here. So I have an intercept, that's my constant, and my X1. I didn't click label, so that's why I have it just as a X1 variable. Okay, now you can choose either to use the standard error or the t-statistic, one or the other. And here's where I know whether I'm significant or not. This is the p-value. So this is 9.8 times, um, you know, I'm going to move the decimal to the left 14 places. Oh, that's definitely smaller than 0.05 in here too. So you use the p-value to know whether you're significant at the 5% and the 10% level. Okay, when I do both variables, when I highlight both x1 and x2, I pull off the adjusted r squared, I go down here and I have my two variables. I choose again standard error or t-stat, and here this one you can actually see, is that smaller than 0.05? Yes, so that is significant at the 0.05 level. And then you'll create your table just like that in lab and um, you'll be good. Uh, now you have everything you need to take the quiz and we'll see you in class this week.